What's up, folks? I got a HD mirror cam about six months ago, and I did a video about it, and a lot of people seem to have liked it. I did a couple of subsequent videos not long after I put up the first one. And somebody suggested I did a six month review of my HD mirror cam. Well, to make a long story short, a dash cam is sort of a, I guess you can say, set it and forget it type thing. So after a couple of months, the blue light kept saying that it was recording. The red light kept saying it was charging, and I was cool with that. So um, I didn't check any video for months. Well, the other day, I thought I should do a six-month video, and um, I took out the SD card, micro SD card, and found to my horror that the HD mirror cam had stopped working back in May, somewhere around Memorial Day. I had no idea. Again, the blue light was always going, the red light was going on, so I just assumed that it had been recording all that time. And I don't know if it makes me sound paranoid or weird. I feel that I need some type of dash cam. And I don't like the kind that stick on your dashboard, I mean, uh, your windshield, but I feel that I need some type of dash cam. And I think about one day I was getting ready to make a left turn. And good thing I was going slow because a lady ran the red light and just zipped past me. And I remember thinking that, well, if she would have hit me, it was on HD mirror cam. Well, it wasn't even working during that time. So I would have been screwed. The cops would have automatically said I made an illegal left turn. And that would have been it. So the video that you're watching now, that's with my Polaroid Cube. So for now, my Polaroid Cube is my dash cam. I'm probably going to get a Polaroid dash cam. Because I kind of like what I see in those. And maybe that's what I should have gotten in the first place. Because... I mean, HD mirror cam had real poor video quality. I, I was aware of that, but I didn't care about that. I like the fact that when I cut the car on, the dash cam started up. When I cut the car off, a few minutes later, the dash cam was going to, you know, turn off. With this Polaroid Cube, which actually has much vi better video quality than the... Uh, HD mirror cam, I have to remember to cut it on. I have to remember to cut it off. Other than that, I would stick with the uh, Polaroid Q. So I'm assuming that if the little small dash cams that Polaroid have, have about the same video quality as the Q, I'm probably going to go with them. So in making a long story short, HD mirror cam is a dud. I'm going to contact the company and see can I get it replaced, but uh, till then, thumbs down on uh, HD mirror cam.